the thing that really drew me in was that there were many faculty in every subspecialty of orthopedics, all of which had leaders within their ranks um, on the national level and who seemed to be heavily involved with the residency and research and other uh, areas within their practice as well as the fact that I felt like the residents themselves had a really nice cohesive um, culture. For me personally, uh, every time I've gone through a challenge, there's been somebody above me who's gone through the same thing and has been there to kind of walk me through uh, how I can work my way through that. This is a place where you will be brought into something larger than yourself, and this is a place where you will be mentored. We really have a mentorship model education style where rather than being more on kind of a team-based system, we pair our residents one-on-one -on -one with an attending and you're with them for a whole month. They really get to know your strengths and weaknesses as a resident, but you also get to know them because if you work with someone every day for a month, you're gonna talk about work, but you're gonna talk about life and your values and the things that you care about as well. And it's much easier to collaborate when you've had that relationship with them. My experience with uh, this residency was that it was seamless between the uh, traditional academics at Carolina's Medical Center and then with the world-class doctors at North Carolina. It was intimate throughout the whole time. Everybody knew who I was, what I needed to do, what I needed to get better at, and then they all were invested in me and I felt that investment. Intern year you're learning to be a doctor. Second and third year you're starting to learn to become an orthopedic resident, surgeon, learning about all the musculoskeletal conditions, and then fourth year is when you decide what fellowship you want to apply for. Then you can start tailoring your own experience to what your interests are. If you look at the map of trauma centers in the region. There's not even level two trauma centers nearby. We really see the full complexity of caring for people with you know, multi-system trauma, with various medical comorbidities, and with injuries that span various subspecialties and learn how to coordinate with a lot of different folks. We start from intern year having conversations about what is it like to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, trying to get enough sleep, and then we also have a program-wide effort to um, make sure that all the residents are doing well. I had never been to Charlotte before my interview. I didn't know the first thing about it. Um, and what I found is that it's really a place where there's so many different living environments that you can kind of find the experience you want. And I think that's what's really unique about Charlotte is that there's those different pockets of the city that can kind of match up with the experience of, of wherever you're at in life. I remember when I first came to Carolina's Medical Center, the thought that I had was, man, this is a place that says that if I want to be 100% academic, I could be 100% academic. If I want to be 100% in the community, I'll be 100% in the community. But what they cared about is that you better be the best at doing it. I think if you have people that finish their residencies and can say, it is what I thought it was, that, that's a place that you should probably be going to.